there are two distinct forms of alzheimer's disease sporadic alzheimer's disease and familial alzheimer's disease sporadic alzheimer's disease accounts for majority of cases and has no obvious pattern of inheritance whereas familial alzheimer's disease is rare and an autosomal dominant disorder both forms of alzheimer's disease are associated with same structural chemical and clinical abnormalities the two structures in the brain that signal the presence of alzheimer's disease are amyloid plaques found between neurons in the brain and neurofibrillary tangles found within neurons in the brain both are clusters of proteins and can form as part of the usual process of aging however in alzheimer's disease these proteins accumulate in greater quantities in two specific brain regions the hippocampus and the cerebral cortex amyloid plaques consist of beta amyloid a protein fragment of another larger protein called amyloid precursor protein APP APP is found in most cell membranes in our bodies and is approximately 765 amino acids long the exact spot where the APP molecule is cut in the nerve cells influences whether or not the beta amyloid protein fragment is formed if it is the first cut just outside the cell membrane by an enzyme called alpha secretase the plug causing beta amyloid fragment is not formed but if app is first cut a bit further away from the cell membrane by an enzyme called beta secretase the beta amyloid fragment is formed the beta amyloid fragment is either 40 or 42 amino acids long the version most toxic to neurons seem to be a beta 42 once formed beta amyloid is either degraded and cleared from the brain or it remains in the brain accumulating in clumps between neurons to become plaques neurofibrillary tangles the other abnormal cluster of proteins associated with alzheimer's disease occur within neurons these intracellular tangles consist of twisted threads of a protein called 2 normally the 2 protein has a clear cut function in the human nervous system it regulates the assembly of a neuron's internal structure and its nutrient transport system but in alzheimer's disease extra phosphate groups are added to the two protein and this causes it to become sticky when this happens two proteins pair up and twist around one another forming a helical shape once it occurs the transport system of affected nerve cells collapses this leads to miscommunication between nerve cells and eventually cell death from lack of nutrition when enough neurons are damaged or destroyed chemical imbalances begin to happen The most significant chemical change is a loss of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine which serves to transmit messages from one neuron to another. As damage to neurons in the brain increases, the ability to produce acetylcholine decreases. This chemical loss means important messages are not transmitted in regions of the affected brain. the end result of the structural and chemical changes in ad brain is progressive cell death and an overall shrinkage of brain tissues this culminates in the progressive clinical symptoms of alzheimer's disease such as mental decline agitation and delusions